Hi everyone, this is Al Bali. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing okay. So today I'm doing another VOD review for Kazoo. Kazoo I've actually done a lot of VOD reviews before, like four of them basically. We are still in bronze, but it's alright, it's all good. We have the cute little mage skin on, along with a little like magic potion. I believe these two like go together like so so well, but the colours are so so cute. Uh, Kazoo basically gave me like a gigantic paragraph. Um, I'm going to quickly just read it out as much as I can. So yeah, started a little rough and the enemy Samba was trash talking. They had three kills at the end of the game, same as me as Mercy, which is always hilarious. We had a Widow and a Hansa to start. Uh, so I decided to try and pocket the Widow, but I feel as though I got away with some very risky rotations. Okay, so we'll look at like rotating. Uh, just because they are bronze. Hansa switched to Echo after a bit and I feel as though I improved with pocketing flying heroes, which is good. Because I, I see a lot of people a lot at the moment like are struggling with like pocketing forests and Echoes and stuff. My team did refuse to fall back, so I tried my best to help them retreat and keep them alive. Okay, so awesome. So we're just going to start the VOD. Um, and we'll just end up seeing like what's happening, basically. And we'll just get right into it. So, they said they are going to pocket the Widow at the start. I really like this decision, especially with the Widow nerfs. It gives her that extra range that she might need. Okay. Starting off with, already, we don't need to rotate around here, okay? You kind of like get stuck on this, um, this kind of like rock thing here. Instead, as soon as you get stuck around this rock... Think to yourself, what's going to be the safest way I can get back to my, um, my, what's it called? My Widow. Just come around here. Okay? It's, it stops you from taking this, like, little bit of damage that you've already taken, alright? Or it starts to get picked off, that's fine. Ends up getting hacked. Nice ping. You can... Obviously she's still behind you. I'm glad that you do go for that, Rise. Because obviously she just, like, hack you out of it. That's really, really smart of you. Very, very nice. Damage boost in Hanzo, which is great. When um, Hog goes in for this hook, by the way, you can damage boost the hook. The reasoning is because obviously Hulk, uh, Hog got nerfed um, a little bit ago where it doesn't allow him to essentially kind of like do the one shot anymore that he used to be able to. But if you damage boost him, it can actually help him sometimes get that one shot off, all right? So just whenever you see um, a Hog going in for that hook, just play that damage boost onto him. So that really, really great, really, really great position so far. Really, really nice. Same thing, just keep on following your hands right now. We're appealing for Widow, which is really, really great. I love this from you. Obviously, Far is there. Lovely ping. All the heals. Lovely that you're helping her right now. You're doing the absolute right thing here, of just like pretty much just like sitting with her. Obviously, she ends up being in there. I hope that you heard the Sombra. Really nice GA to get away from her. Really, really nice. Ha! <laughs> nice. So, is it being there? Go on. Oh, we ended up dying to her. Okay. I feel as though we needed to work on our aim a little bit here. Especially, like, because what's it called? Obviously, so you're with this, like, um, this Widow here. And obviously, you end up, like, going into her. It would have been nice if your Widow also turned around and helped. But it seemed like she just jumps out here to carry on, like, fighting over here. So, unfortunately, she couldn't really come and help. You just need to kind of, like, work on your aim a little bit. I blame that on the Shivering. <laughs> yeah, because you did say they were really, really cold during this match. So, we're going to blame that on the Shivering. Um... But it's all good. Echo here. So we now have an Echo now instead of the um, the Widow. Obviously this, sorry, instead of the Hanzo. This basically means that we should be staying with the Echo. The reason is because um, Echo can actually like really well like counter, I guess like, not so much counter, but she can deal with uh, Boris really, really well. So I love your positioning here already. Lovely peel for your, um, your Widow really nice i love how you're not staying with her for this entire time if you can't help it lovely you need to feel good for your echo okay let's let's rewind this a little bit okay i love this peeling like this peeling is really really great because it's very much like you kind of like left her when she got to full hp to go and pocket your echo as soon as you know that she was still like there you carry on helping her. This is really, really great beam management and like target prioritization for you. This is really, really great. However, at this point, I would then essentially just kind of like ab abandon her kind of thing because you don't want to spend your entire time just having to help this widow. Because at this point, if the widow's getting dove as much as she is and she's not getting the value, you need to be basically kind of focusing your attention on other people because. You can basically, once you kind of helped out like, out like a little bit and people haven't died, you now essentially just need to go with your Widow. 
Oh, sorry, no, you wouldn't. With, with your echo, even. And go and help her out. But really nice peel, though, honestly. With this Valk, I would have literally popped this a lot quicker than what you did. This is really, really great. You need to pop Valk now. All right. It's a little bit late, which I'm very scared that was called the, um, the hog was going to fall over. Really nice damage boost. You ended up using quite a few ults. That's fine. I don't think you needed the whole hog, but that's not your issue. Your, your ult was fine. You just need to pop it a little bit sooner than what you did. But it's great. Okay. So obviously we heard that the storm was going to be nearby, which is fine. You need to play with your echo though. Nice. Love how you keep it up with her. Absolutely iconic. I love it. <laughs> I have no words to say about that. That, that was perfect. I, I absolutely love that. Absolutely. Anyways, right. So, back to the normal pot. Okay. This is perfect. How... My, my only criticism when you came back here... Sorry, I was too busy giggling. When you come back here, just make sure you don't GA so you just stood out in this kind of open bit so they have LOS of you. Be sure to GA so you end up like have with having like one of these pillars blocking this LOS. I love, however, while you're I guess your echo's probably typing to the somber or something. So if, if the somber's obviously uh, typing to your echo, then you know leaving her to it and actually going to go help your widow is just like the correct opportunity, like correct thing to do here, which is really really great. Once again, lovely like bream prioritization. Just stay with her, especially while your echo's still typing. You can't help any of that. As soon as you see a grab like that, you just have to think to yourself, just back away. Like, I'm not going to help anyone there. You don't get back to your echo, which is really nice. Lovely GA is back and everything. Lovely. See, ping the forward, which is great. Lovely use of high ground. Lovely getting back up to where. Really, really great. Widows are dying. Ooh, okay. I would have literally just res that straight, straight away. It looked like you tried to do like a little like super jump res. Honestly, you don't try and pull off like a fancy res if you don't need to. Started a super jump res but failed. Yeah, honestly, if you don't need to do a fancy res, you don't need to do it. Like you could maybe do it like to get up into this high ground, which would kind of be cool. But you had the opportunity and the timing straight there just to do a normal res. Okay. So at least it didn't get, yeah, exactly. At least it didn't get cancelled. But like you doing this res a little bit later basically puts you at risk to all this like fire barrage and stuff like that and actually means that your echo dies. But it's fine. Obviously helping heal up hog, which is great. Um, I want to place, yeah, okay. I was just about to say, I wanted to know where your widow is. It's really nice that you helped obviously heal up your hog, especially because your um, Moira wasn't there. Okay. Love how you're like playing with your widow here. My only criticism is I would have done this from this area here, right? The reasoning is because I'd rather do it in this area over here. It's purely because if you then need to go and help your hog, you can just kind of like quickly like, skip down here and like come and help him. And it also means you could still like stay with your widow. And it basically means then that you have like the option of like both compared to at the moment, you only having the option of one. All right. So you would literally just kind of like play, kind of just like kind of like play like on these stairs, and then it just means that if you see your hog being in trouble, you can go and help, and then also stay with your widow. Once your widow, say if your widow now gets this like life weaver, and then she then pushes forward to then take this position, this is great for you then, and then it just means that you can essentially just help this team out. But we're gonna see what ends up happening. Is it nice? Stay with okay, stay with your widow there until your echo gets back into a fighting range though. Lovely positioning though. She so ends up being in there. Say enjoy me, which is fine. <laughs> End up Ging out, which is perfect. Love the damage boost on the widow. My other thing is that you now need to get in to go and help you. Okay. Your echoes are just basically going in. I would have maybe still looked to see if you can get in, but obviously you end up don't end up getting in, which is fine. Lovely focusing on the widow though, which is great. I was thinking just just hear this um, sombra. Right, nice once again, damage boost on the echo, which is really, really great. I feel so this Valk is a little too early, but I respect it. The reason why I think it's it's a little bit early is the fact that your team isn't fully engaged into the fight at this point. Like, I would have popped it more when, like, your Zari gets in a little bit more. 
This is fine though that you end up popping it. It's just a tad too early. But apart from that, it's great. Lovely positioning again. Just try, like, when you're doing that, try to kind of keep an eye on your Moira's health health bar. The reason is because while you're still up here, obviously pocketing the second and stuff like that, your Moira is taking damage and actually got really, really low. So just make sure that you're still kind of keeping your eye on this Moira and peeling for her on the just in case, all right? So they're kind of flinging ourselves forward to help with Ryan. You can't get that res off. Okay, we had to put ourselves in a bit of a tricky situation because we tried to do a res and we can't. Love the coalescence though. Lovely, lovely. Go on, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I would have still like, I would have basically GA'd with her like when she does the fade, just to go in and like try and finish off that kill. But other than that, like really, really great. So we're just basically waiting for them all to come back. Zara ends up having um, old spawn, so that's really, really great. Lovely focus fire here. Lovely peel for your widow. You don't need to GA up here though. You can literally, at this point, to try and help her, you can literally just do a GA cancel here, which will save the GA cooldown. And then it means if you then, if your Echo wants to go in aggressive in a second, you can then use your GA to go and help aggress in her. But yeah. But we'll keep going. Let's see the platform. Oh, we end up getting stuck a little bit. Go on. Lovely. Lovely res. Make sure you GA straight out. Perfect. Perfect. What I would do is instead of like trying to get your, your staff out like straight away though, just try to kind of like get your, just try and get your GA off because while you're doing the GA, you can switch over with like the staff and the pistol just so you can get that escape a little bit sooner, especially if that Farah like really, really wants you dead. All right. And a lovely helping. Lovely. Kind of fault your peel in for this, what's it called? For this uh, Widow, it's really, really great. Lovely ping again. It's a nice healer up, when, especially when your Echo's not being aggressive. Okay. Is this... I just want to go... To, yeah, okay. So the Sombra's down here. So I was like... I was trying to think, like, where is this um, Sombra? Because she's not attacking you. She's literally just hacking you from down here. If you want to stop her from hacking you from down there, just hug this, like, wall a little bit more. But yeah. And you can essentially just help your your echo exactly like how you're doing but it just it's like a, it stops you from basically being hacked like you are love the ga way that you've noticed that she's translocated up the only thing i have wrong with this ga is i would have ga'd it down here the reasoning is because you have to think to yourself okay this is where she's gone to i've got myself away but where is like the best place that you can get away to block out that los because you just ga'ing over to here still gives her that los to shoot at you if you GA down here, you can use this kind of like, what, like, I guess like a little snack cart, I guess. You can use that to basically like just GA yourself down here, block this LOS, and then as soon as like you're, you've you got your GA back up or you're like healthy enough, you can then just kind of come up and do a slingshot and then kind of like hover like around here instead. Just a, just a minor little thing though. It's a lovely health with the Widow again. Lovely. Instead of dropping, which is fine. Widow ends up falling. I would honestly expect your Widow to swap at, at one point. You have ended up like a little bit split. Love how you end up getting yourself discovered though. Go on. So right, it's the cold aim. It's okay. We do it again though, which is great. We foul. Damage boost. Okay, if you damage boosted here, this would have eliminated the Zarya a lot quicker and would maybe have meant that she didn't get her grab off, okay? Because I, I like the Valk. Do not get me wrong, like, the Valk is good. But if you want to come in, like, here, your Moira is still above half HP. She's fine. You could just damage boost. Your Rhine, pretty much full HP. Damage boost, okay? You can literally just come in, damage boost. That Rhine swings at her and the Moira, like, you know, like, sucks her off i guess basically and she ends up falling before she can use the grab okay so we end up with barrage i'm gonna see what ends up happening here so obviously more ends up falling lovely shield in there lovely cover with the res really really great lovely was again kind of fault there that was really really great like cover with the res and stuff really really great cover again 
I'll be Widow, which is fine. Push in here. Lovely. I would have pushed in a little bit sooner. Like, whatever, um... Whatever Echo uses a um what's it called? Whatever whatever Echo uses her duplicate, you essentially want to, if you can, commit as hard as you can with it. The reason is because the damage boost will help her get her copied up quicker, especially with the nerfs to her not getting it as quickly anymore. So it'll just help with what's it called. It'll help with getting it a lot sooner. Love your positioning though with this cover. Really, really great. Really, really nice. <laughs> Go and try and block her, that's fine. No worries. I'd head back up to the Yep, lovely. Already heading back up to the high ground. I cannot fault your position and your map knowledge, like, because honestly, it's really, really great. Gets two taps, you can't out heal that, that's fine. I would look at this point though to try and like help someone else though as quick as you can. Okay. Let me just quickly rewind it. Just to kind of like just describe to you what I mean. Alright. So this is perfect, right? Obviously, I end up to, to go and try and help um I was like, killed the sword, but that's fine. We go back up. This is perfect. Really, really great. Okay. When, uh, what's, when, when Echo gets two tapped like this, you can't do anything about this, okay? And at the moment as well, it it's not in like a reasonable position because you have this farer. You now need to think, okay, who can I help? You essentially, at this point, just want to GA down straight away and come back here. So it means that you can still kind of help in this kind of like fight if you want to. You have a choice here. You can either go and damage with this widow after she's just got two picks and hope that she shoots this um this Farah, or you can go and help your rhyme with this Aressa. I think probably in my scenario, I would have gone down basically GA to where Echo's like soul is and GA'd back here for a second, just kind of like get my bearings and stuff and damage with this widow, do like a little jiggle peek like this. You could also rotate round to like here if you wanted to and um, damage boost from here, just so that widow can get this, um what's it called? This far, hopefully, because it ended up being a little bit tunnel visioned onto the um, the ride, and the basically the widow ends up going down. It's the one time that you weren't there for the widow, which is unfortunate. This is more like a team fight loss now. Yeah, you just need to die here. Either get out or die. And you have escaping, which is really really great as long as you don't get picked off in a second. Really really nice on the helping the Moira though, which is really really great. With Tracy, you just want to leave her, so just stay with your um, stay with your Moira, which is fine. We're still on this Widow. Widow, I would say now is your main blue beam target, because obviously the Tracer, with Tracy, you just kind of like wants to just leave her to do her thing, unless if she's near you and you can get a good blue beam on her to like help her like do a one clip basically. So now it's going to be the Widow. Really, really great though. Look for okay. With this, okay, let me quickly rewind it because I want to like talk about this. All right, so. Stay with the with the Moira, this is fine. You don't need to stay drawn together to your your what's it called, your tracer. Just let your tracer start with the plank. Lovely going up here. Okay. With this though, when you see this widow kind of going to block your LOS, you have to think to yourself, how can I keep the beam up? You can essentially just kind of flow, like fly, kind of like use your enchant the sense to fly around here, and then it can still keep your beam on your widow. Okay. So you can still keep enabling her because I feel as though this kind of like stops it from, you know, being connected. Okay. So we don't end up doing that. Beam gets disconnected. What's the next thing we can do? We now need to look for another option to get up to that high ground. So we have to use one of our team members. We have a Ryan here. Okay. What we can do is as soon as we've lost that LOS, we now think to, we now have to think to ourselves, how can we get up to go and help her? Use this Ryan and then do a directional GA back over here. Because this should basically give you enough charge to kind of like get yourself at least in beam range, if not kind of like around here to keep with your widow, okay? Because what ends up happening is your widow basically ends up being abandoned for those few seconds, and she ends up like you end up obviously do get into her, which is really really great. But then she ends up dying because of it. All right, that's reasonable. That's that's really reasonable. Okay, for this entire time, this is really reasonable for you. Okay. Like, I know the life weaver is here, but it's fine because what you so a lot of people don't know this. This bush has collision, which basically means you can't like fly through it and it also blocks shots and stuff. I found this out very like a lot of times where you just end up like, I end up like GA and like wanted to go through this bush and you just can't. This bush has collision. So it basically means what you can do is 
kind of like obviously help your team for like a few seconds and then as soon as you want to go for this res you can then just kind of go round and then res from here like this looking for the sombra's hack where is the sombra actually is is this the sombra is this <laughs> she's all the way over here why is she here I'm, I'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna like what's it called i like how obviously you were like looking out for her and stuff but honestly i would <laughs> why <laughs> sorry it's making me good she's just all the way over there anyways yeah i would have literally just gone for it but it's fine i like how obviously you were looking out for the widow though which is really really sorry not the widow the sombra though which is really really great the same thing obviously you know so try and like use your cover the ears are jumping onto you Right, we rotate round, let's just go get the health pack, that's fine. Like how you took that minute out to go and do that. That's really really great. We need to help Tracer, really, really nice. Hide Valk now. Okay. I would have Valked a lot lot sooner than this, okay? Let me let me let me go back and I'll tell you when I would have Valked, okay? So this is fine. Going round rotating, okay? Go and help you trace it, this is fine. Now, this is when you want to pop this Valk, okay? Because your Widow is now back. Your Tracer's here as well. Basically, your whole team is in a really good like spot to just help like mass damage boost everyone. If you got up here, you can then basically fly up here and you can just like, obviously, what's it called? You can just help damage boost people from around here. It stops you from having to worry about the Sombra who we haven't seen for a while to be fair. So obviously, you know, you're gonna be like, really watching out for her and stuff. So you can literally use your Valk, come up to like these like pillars up here and just use it and just help like beam, beam your team from up here and stuff like that. All right. But so we end up holding it for a bit. I don't think it would have helped your Widow. I'm not going to lie. We're going to get hacked. Oh, we pop it now, which is fine for this res. And your Ryan actually was really, really sweet to help you with it. That's how you made it go away. That's fine. Back to your team as soon as you got it away. That's really, really great really really nice nice time to be on your tracer right now especially while she's still main my only thing is i'd still be looking out for your widow because i thought the widow was gonna like grapple up like onto this like little bridge thing but she didn't she ended up like coming down here which is perfectly fine that's how you like whip her now though which is really really great your warrior actually ends up killing the what's it called the thing which is fine Nice, really good help with the Moira. So got that Sombra. This Sombra is like really confusing me. I'm gonna, okay. I'm just gonna go back, sorry. The Sombra is really confusing me because it's like, she just hacks people and just doesn't follow up on the damage for some reason. I just wanna quickly rewind just to kind of show you like what we could do differently here. So this is perfect. Just play your cover. You don't need to peek as much as you did there, by the way. You can help like on the heal. Healing Moira, which is fine. Help Widow, which is great, okay? When you see this um, Sombra coming to hack you, instead of like GAing like into this bit and then again like a little bit stuck here, just GA across. You could just literally just GA across to here and just play this cover here. Cause then it means you can still like be with this team here, all right? But we'll keep going. So end up like, obviously we get hacked. We get a little bit stuck in this corridor. It would have been so much better if you just, whenever I get hacked by a Widow, and sorry, not by a Widow, whenever I get hacked by a Sombra and I'm in like a bit of a bad spot, just kind of do like some crouch spamming until it wears off. Use your Widow and just GA over to this side here because then it means you can still help like with this team fight over here as well. Okay, but we'll keep going. So they're getting a little bit lost. We do end up like popping down for a second, which is fine. Just get a lovely damage boost on the Widow. Just stay with her. Nice. Okay, we end up abandoning our Ryan a little bit here. I would have looked to basically um, kind of like done like a, a super jump up here-ish to make sure that you could still have, obviously with the, the, the Widow was like a little bit more closer when she was doing it. It means that you can then basically have your beam on her as well as help your Ryan. It would have been better if your Ryan kind of like backed off over here, but sadly he's just not. Um, it's fine, we end up obviously backing out. And he has to get picked off. Can't really do it about that. I feel so you could have got like a tiny bit more healing onto him, but he kind of like made his decision to go out that way, so he can't really do anything. 
Nice backing out though. Whenever you do a GA like that though, just make sure you kind of like direct it like all the way to this side here. Just so you can properly block off this LOS on this area. Rather than just kind of aiming for like the general direction. Just, like, try and make it a little bit more like direct of like I want to be over here. And then you can like block this LOS like this. Okay. But we'll keep going. Lovely damage boost once again. Really, really great. Lovely backing out. Lovely peel for your widow. Oh, okay, can't do anything about that. Did they see nine? I was just about to say, like, because you, you kind of have like a bad choice at the end of this. Okay, so you have sights now. This basically means that you can now see, like, where everyone is. Obviously, you can see, like, where the somber is specifically. That's probably like, one of the most useful things, okay? So we're damage boosting our Sigma now, which is fine. Really, really great peel. Obviously, just end up dying. As soon as she dies and you just, like, see that, you, you want to leave. Because if you were in a high... Because obviously, I know this is bronze, but we have to think for more, like, in the future. You are not going to win this 1v1. If, if this was, like, a GM match like this, and I was, like... If, say this is me in this scenario, okay? And the Sombra's just killed this. I am not going to win this 1v1. So I would just need to basically quickly flick back around, GA myself over here with the Sigma, and then go and help out. They do end up c 9 it, which, you know, I'd honestly, I'd take it, because they just walk off it, you know. It is what it is, and it's a win at the end of the day. So you know what? It's all good. Um, So yeah, overall, Kazoo, I cannot fault you on your peeling. Your peeling for the Widow, and ju just in general, was really, really good. I feel as though you did actually play a lot better when you are with that Echo. Um... I feel as that, that was like really, really great. Reses, I feel as though we could be uh, not so much like a, bit, a little bit more risky with, but there were there certain reses that you could have definitely got away with rather than just being like really, really hesitant. Um, I'd obviously you like being afraid of the Sombra, but if you're looking at the scoreboard and seeing the Sombra's like only got like three kills and stuff, you have to kind of think to yourself, is this Sombra actually really a threat to me or not? All right. So you could have got off that. Literally, if you just rotated, you could have just got that off. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Valk's needed, Valk timing is a little bit off in certain places, but I feel as though I kind of like talked about it a little bit. I would have maybe done it a little bit sooner in like certain scenarios and a little bit later in others. It's just, just like Valk timing. Like you're doing Valk's at the right point. It's just getting that timing of when to start the res a little bit like better, basically. Um, and positioning for the majority of the time is really, really good. Because obviously, like, you you know the map so, so well. Like, specifically the high ground as well in the Coliseo. You use that so, so well. Like, you obviously know the map layouts really, really well. You just need to get yourself, like, a little bit more accurate when rotating to those places. All right? But apart from that, honestly, because you once get a really, really good bot, we just need to brush up on those tiny little things. And it should come within time. All right? Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Once again, you can get your own VOD views. They offer 5,000 channel points on my Twitch. You essentially just need to come over. You can come and lurk. And I do them on Mondays. And I also stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. They're normally just my normal, normal games. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all later. Bye.